after a second quarter that was dead even in scoring. And taking a look at the Celtics, Kenny, what did you see out there? A lot of the offense has come off the bench tonight, Aaron, and that's something every coach loves to get. The score would be a lot different if they hadn't gotten those points from the reserves. And Shaq, what do you think about Milwaukee? They've got a lot for their interior offense, and it's been a spark for them. And having that age in the paint can make the difference tonight. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. This second half could turn out to be a great one. As both teams trying to gain an edge. On the floor for Milwaukee. The star front court. Middleton and Giannis in it forward. Letso and Matthews teaming up in the backcourt. And it's Lopez in at the five. Boy, the overwhelming strength of Giannis just excels at fighting his way through the defense. Very impressive. One of the things I like about Giannis Antetokounmpo was how much pride he takes in where he came from. His parents moved from Nigeria to Greece, working tirelessly to give their children a better life. And it was a team effort. His parents, he and his brother, all working together to make ends meet. That's the team. Here's Tice. Oh, he covers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. That's on Brooke Lopez. And the story goes, Clark, Giannis and his brother were hawking watches on the streets of Athens when a coach saw them and convinced them to play basketball. That changed everything, B.A. Giannis made his way to the backwater Greek second division, playing in obscurity. From there, straight to the NBA the stuff that movies are made of. And that one misses. The Bucks trail. Here's Matthews. Tries again. Here's Hanada Kumpo. Boston with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Last season, it seemed a weight was lifted for the Celtics. Coming off of the disappointing 2018-2019 campaign, Jason Tatum said maybe they believed their own hype too much. But they did bounce back, and he said the bonding experience of playing for the U.S. national team with three Boston teammates helped foster that chemistry. Oh, great point, Tally. Thank you. Boy, that's got to be terribly frustrating there. I mean, with the defense not hustling, and he still misses. Boy, he wishes he had that one back. And there's the lob. Hey, great communication on the lob. Middleton, the score by nature. That time showing we can find his teammates too. Changes for Boston. Tanner's checked in for Tice. Smart comes in for Brown. And it's Wanamaker in for Walker. And the Bucks making a change here. And you know, the summer of 2019, Chris Middleton signing a five-year, $178 million contract to remain in the water. But boy, did he ever reward the Bucks' faith in him for the best season of his career. Hayward, the pass to Cameron. with the slash. And plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Outside, Hill. Pass to Adonacumpo. Back to Hill for the lead. Rebounded by the Celtics. And Clark, career best shooting percentages for Middleton in 1920. A 50-40-90 season. Impressive, B.A., and I'll give you a little more embellishment. It was a career high in points for his second All-Star selection, and his success was a big reason for Bucks dominated all year long. 
Tatum finds Canner. Right around three minutes into this second half. Things just don't seem to be kicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Down low. Here's Steven Chenzo. Smart with the defensive effort. I think he wants that one back. I mean, he knows he's capable of better. Wanamaker. And the three off target. The Bucs have gone cold here in this third quarter. Just three of nine. Here's Alan Kumpo. Got his dunks at home. Hey, that's why Anta Takumpo is so feared league wide. I mean, when he's close to the rim, he's most likely going to flush it on you. Smart outside. Canner sets the screen. Hayward for three. A rebound by the Bucks. DiVincenzo's got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside, Hill. And down it goes. Dumped it through off a beautiful setup. You know, that's what you want out of your point guard. He was really doing a nice job getting the ball from side to side and not hesitating at all in doing it. Here's Kenner. He sinks that one from the post. Kenner's got four in this court. Grant, since the conclusion of your playing career, you've spent the better part of a decade covering the game on television. So what's been your favorite part of that aspect of your career? You know, B.A., it's been incredible. I mean, I've enjoyed every aspect of covering games. And, uh, I think for me, it's been so close to the action, getting a chance to almost get lost in the game, feeling like you're in the game as we get a chance to watch these amazing athletes from up and down the court. It's the closest thing to actually playing, being right here next to you, calling the game. That great makeup. <laughs> Always. Out to DiVincenzo. This for the tie! Marries it from three. DiVincenzo's got five now. Nice awareness from the young forward. Giannis Antetokounmpo showing he wants to work it to his guys. an entire new group here. Williams is checked in for Canner. Williams comes in for Tatum. Brown, he's checked in for Hayward. And it's Kemba Walker in for Bonamaker. Walker against Bledsoe. Walker passes to Brown. Going inside. And the jam by Brown. Is at his best when he takes it inside. I mean, the defense has no idea what to do with it. Pass to Middleton. Shoots over Brown. Another one falls for Milwaukee. Defenses nowadays try to protect the rim and the three point line, so the mid range is usually available. Smart outside. Drives to the hoop. Oh, and makes it with a kiss. Smart has got his first points of the night. Not much resistance from the defense. Easy play that time for him. Bledsoe outside. Williams, a screen on Walker. Pass to Juan Kumpo. Just four to shoot. Here's Corver. The offensive rebound. Officials getting together here. They may want to review this one. Well, we thought the third quarter was over, but it turns out the officials are going to review the play. They're trying to see if he released the ball before the buzzer or not. And there's really plenty of time remaining in this game, so you want to make sure the right call was made. Yeah, anything can happen. I mean, they want to get the call right, and the league is taking steps to speed the process with the replay review center and Secaucus queuing up the footage for the officials. And they've got enough looks at it. The basket will not count. The quarter ended before he got it off. Come 
was a great idea to give it a second glance. The replay system is available, so you've got to utilize it. Three quarters of play and a close one here. It's the Celtics up by two. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on 2K Sports. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Leading the defense like a point guard. Terrific versatility from the big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. The Celtics with the lead. Walker is in the one, but smart at the two. Robert Williams out there with Daniel Tice. And it's Brown in at the small forward. That's the Boston Five. Here's Tice. to see Bledsoe setting up guys like that. I mean, especially when they're wide open and they've got the better shot. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. And things are definitely working offensively. A balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Outside, Brown. Smart finds Brown. Clock at six. Tice is straight on the Brown passes to Tice. Celtics 
them. decisions in the big world. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Daniel Tyson. Hey, guess what? This was his game all night. I mean, he tore through the defense and almost never took a bad shot out there. Really, a level of offensive consistency most players can only dream of. Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. Hayward comes in for Smart. Walker against Letso. Pass to Anacumpo. To the inside. Lopez. Rebound Boston. Tyson's got six rebounds here now. It's Hayward all the way. Back to Walker. Celtic lead. You know he's feeling it when he's taking these kinds of shots. Guys, Tatum, very confident with the stroke. Here's Anadikumpo. And he was fouled by the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It's on Daniel Tice. Hey, you can't block it. Sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup from a little ball, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time, and if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. And the second free throw, no good. Tough break there. Just a tough miss at the line. They're down two baskets now. Sends it home for three-point land. That's just outstanding confidence from Brown. I mean, getting up with a shot right away and giving the defense no time to react. Well, that's impressive. The Celtics have gotten seven of nine for the floor in this fourth. Rebound by Middleton. And so it's Milwaukee with it. Seven point differential. Count it! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five! This is what Bledsoe loves doing. I mean, penetrating, probing, finding his way, looking to get close to the bucket. That's when he's at his best. Walker with it, and it's Bledsoe. We come up, and it's Walker. That time on the assist by Hayward. And the Celtics lead by eight. <laughs> and they just continue to attack, even late in the game. While they're up big. I don't think you want to get loose and slap your knees up, but it is time for them to start using their clock. He's just too quick to the cup. No one near him to get close to. Look at this little fella going in there and eating up some glass. And an intentional foul right there. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Unable to get the second one. I hate to say it, but I'm pretty sure we can close the book on this one. Yep, I agree with you. Chalk it up. Love you in the bag. Pass to Tice. Outside Walker. Now here's Tatum. New York. No good there. And so it's Boston with the W. I'm sure they would have preferred a blowout victory. Win to win. And so true, but you have to credit the crowd for giving them such a big boost toward the end. It really kept this team's energy high. And that'll do it, folks. For Alley the Force, Clark Kellogg, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long, everybody.
Yeah. <laughs> 